Hi, and thanks for stopping by. This is Paul Toomey at Presentation Tree in Seattle, Washington, where for over 12 years we've created great PowerPoint slides. Today I'm going to show you a nifty trick for making a slide more readable and I think more interesting looking. Now what we have in front of us is a great slide already. There's a strong balance between an image and text. And notice the image has been pulled out to the very outside edges, which makes it very compelling. This in itself is a good lesson. Always make your images as big and bold as you possibly can. But when you have the image occupy the whole slide, you then have the problem of how to integrate the text. Well, the solution is to overlay the text on top of the image. However, in some cases this works out great, and in some cases the text can be a little hard to read, such as right here in this area. Even with a darkish background, the white text on top still is a little hard to read. We've got some light blue here, dark blue here, causing visual confusion. I think this looks a lot clearer and is actually more compelling. Check this out. Not only is this text much more readable, by eliminating some of the photograph, we've emphasized what's left bringing out the warmth of this model's face. It's very compelling. But the real magic that's happening in this slide is in the gradient edge of the white box right here. This is creating a wonderful connection between the image and the area for the text. And this is actually very easy to accomplish. And I will show you how. Click on the Home button, and in the Drawing ribbon, choose the rectangle drawing tool and draw a rectangle. And you can make your rectangle any color you'd like. I'm going to choose white with no border. And then go to Shape Effects and choose Soft Edges. I like 50 points for maximum softness. Now notice we're going to need to extend the top edge and the side edge and the bottom edge out so that it hangs over the ed outside edge of the slide. Don't worry about it hanging over because when you look at it in full screen view, you don't see that part. You just see this great, wonderful effect right here. Now all we need to do is put in our text. And there you have it. You can find more free PowerPoint tips at www.presentationtree.com.